dicen un palito profe Me 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 no te van a enojar. Te hablo con mi papá. Te van a enojar. No te yo que necesitamos que te estés comunicado. Ahí yo estarte llamando. Mira, no va a terminar. Ah, ok, no me voy a estar. Te voy a quedar aquí. Nidia que no ha encendido su micrófono. Hello guys, good evening to everyone. Thank you so much for the ones that are already here uh, well, some minutes before the, the class. So the question that I always ask you before we start, can you guys hear me clearly? Like, is, is it clear? Good evening teacher, yes. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. So guys, today is our eighth class. We are exactly on the middle of the module actually. And uh, well, today, as usual, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic, which in this case is going to be irregular verbs. That is what we saw yesterday, okay? Today, we are going to see, or the topic that we have for today is no longer going to be related to simple past. So yesterday was the last class that we had about simple past. So today we're just going to have a brief recap before we go to another topic. Now, um, let me see um, what or how do we identify this question in general for all of you? How do we identify a regular verb? How do we do that? How do we identify it? How do we identify a regular verb, guys? How do we do that? When the definition the the word is ed. Ed. Thank you very much. It is, and that's correct. Uh, when we have a regular verb. Obviously, we are going to identify it by the letters ED at the end, okay? What about the irregular verbs? How do you identify them? What do you remember about it? The irregular verb teacher mm -hmm. change the, the right, the present um, past change the, the, the right. It changes, okay. All right, yeah, I mean, it changes. So uh, what is the auxiliary, guys, that we are going to use when we refer to the simple past? Is there any auxiliary that we can use or there's not? Yes, did. Yes, teacher. Did, okay. Did. Okay, perfect, that's great. So now, before we move on to today's topic, which is not going to be related to simple past, uh, we're going to have a brief practice and we are just going to read some verbs. I mean, not to read them, to pronunciate them, okay? Uh, um, how many of you honestly studied the verbs or at least one verb today? Did you try to do what we what we say yesterday? 
to study at least one bird per day? The yesterday teacher. Mm -hmm. And for me, if uh, both, oh no, two work is the, the bad because I, I don't know listening very well. And kids, I know, o sea, no entendí que aquí puse otra palabra. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was checking, I was checking also the photos that, that you sent me through the WhatsApp group. But let me tell you that the majority of you got them correctly, probably just one or two out of the 10 that we got were correct. So it was it was really good, actually, not that bad. So um, here we're going to see a list. Can you all see it? Yes. Are yes, regular or irregular verbs? Regular teacher. Irregular verbs. <laughs> irregular verbs. Why? Yes, because irregular teacher. Yes. they have different different forms. So now I will choose people like um, randomly, and I would like to have for the first part to uh, elude. Eliud, can you please make the pronunciation of the four uh, verbs that we have here? I mean, present, past, and past participle. Just say it the way you think it is. Even though it is not correct, just try to say it the way you think it, it is, okay? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, no, new, e, no. Okay. Live, light, e, light. Okay. Lead, let e let okay lean lean it e lean it okay all right so let me see uh elmer continue please elmer with another four lip mm -hmm. lip lip learn learned learned <laughs> live left Left, lent, mm -hmm. lent, lent. Thank you very much, Anna Noemi. It's your turn. Four. Okay. Lit, lit, lit. Mm -hmm. Light, light. Sorry, sorry. Light, egg, lane. Mm -hmm. Light, light, light. Okay. Now, uh, volunteer. Me teacher, Iris. Me teacher. Iris, okay. Iris, say it at first. So, Iris, let's go. Late, lit, lit. Mm -hmm. Lot, lot. Okay. Make, made, made. Okay. Made, made, made. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, of course, you know, the challenge is still there. El desafío todavía está ahí, ¿sí? Estudiar al menos uno por día, right? So that's what we, what, what I'm, I'm telling you to do, okay? But it will be up to you if you want to do it or not. So you can, you know, schedule your time because I know that you work and I know that during the day, probably you're doing a lot of things. So the reason why we're still trying to do these practices, guys, is because next week we are going to start with a topic that is called present perfect. And in present perfect, it will be necessary or mandatory for you to know the past participle of the verbs. Y usted me puede decir, teacher, si apenas me voy aprendiendo el simple past. Y ahora quiere que me aprenda el past participle. I know. I know and I understand, guys. I understand. That's why, por eso es que les digo yo, para que no siente el porrazo de una sola vez, uno por día. Yes? One per day. It's not that much. Or two. So you repeat it, you repeat it, and you repeat it. So now, it's my turn to make the pronunciation and at home, try to pronunciate, uh, try to do the pronunciation yourself. Okay? So let's go. No, new, 
known. Lay, laid, laid. Leave, lev, lev. Lean, leaned, lint. Lind, lint. Leap, lipped, lipped. Lipped, lipped. Okay. Learn, learned, learned. Learned, learned. Leave, left, left. Lend, lent, lent. Let, let, let. Lie, lay, lane. Lie, lied, lied. Light, lit, lighted. Lit, lighted. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Mean, mean, meant, meant. Okay? So it's a little bit challenging as, as, as I said. Nidia, have any question? Yes, teacher. Um, veo que hay tres, cuatro verbos que se escriben de diferentes formas. Mm -hmm. Y eso, ¿a qué se debe? ¿Se, oh. ¿Se puede escribir de las dos formas o en qué momento se ocupa una y en qué momento la otra? Mm, oh, I mean, yesterday we saw a list. Vimos una lista de aquellos verbos que pueden tener dos formas. Es decir, la forma regular, que solo le agregamos ed, y la forma irregular, que es completamente diferente. So as I was saying yesterday, it is up to you. Depende de ustedes cuál sientan mejor utilizarlo. No significa que uno esté incorrect o que el otro esté correct. No. Both of them are correct. Ambos son correctos. ¿Que ¿Cuál decido utilizar? El que a usted se le haga más fácil. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what, you, what you really have to do. It will be your, uh, your election, actually. So, can I have a volunteer right now? Just a volunteer to read five. William. Your teacher. William, and then we go with Nidia. Okay. Yes, teacher, good evening. Good evening. No, you know. Play, play, play. Okay. Lead, lead, lead. Okay. Lean, lead, lean, 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 lead, 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 Lip, 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 learn, 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 and no, it's learn. Okay, learn, learn, live, lift, lift, lend, lend, lend. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. That was really good, William. I want to congratulate you because I see that you have been studying a little bit. I can okay. see that. That's good. So keep on doing what you're doing, okay? Keep on doing that and it's going to be easier for you. So, Nidia. Okay, let's, let's let's lie, lay, 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 Light, light, lighter, light, lighter, mm -hmm. lost, 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 make, made, made, mean, mean, mean. Okay, and in some of them, Nidia, the pronunciation was not good, but still, I understand. Si entiendo, ahorita vamos a equivocar y es mejor que nos equivoquemos aquí. So we can make a lot of mistakes. Podemos hacer todos los errores que sean posible. Okay. So me, uh, well, for me, I encourage you, los animo a todos, please try to study the verbs. See, please try to do it. It's for your benefit. Es por su beneficio. Okay. So uh, as I always tell you, I understand it might be difficult, but not impossible. Difícil, mas no imposible. So we can do it. All right. So today, guys, as I said at the beginning, the class is not going to be focused on simple past. 
Simple past, it was yesterday, the last class that we had. So today we're going to go to a topic which is, which is probably easy for some of you, probably for some others it's going to be new, but have you ever heard about there is and there are? Have you ever heard about it? Have you ever heard about it? There is and there are. Have you ever heard before? Yes, teacher. What is that? There is and there are a words that help us to express that. <laughs> I don't know how to say it without using the same words. Uh, uh, that something exists. In yeah, that something exists. Yeah, actually, it's <laughs> that that's it. Yeah, that's good. Well, quantified. Quantify, yeah, something like that too. Yeah. So today, this today, guys, we're going to focus on there is, there are some and any. Okay. So those are part of quantifiers too. So we are going to try to understand, as I said, for some of you, probably this is going to be easy. For some others, it will probably be something new. So we're going to, let me see. Let me, let me just change my keyword because you see it in Spanish and it doesn't work in Spanish. So let's see. All right. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we're going to have like, uh, you know, a brief explanation about what there is and there are. are. So I would like to have, let me see. Um, no, let me see. Try to select Joaquin. Hello, Joaquin. Good evening. So help me, please. Yes. Teacher. Help me help me reading this part that we have here. The expression there is and there are used to indicate that something exists or is in a certain location. Okay, thank you very much. Of course, as Arabin said at the beginning, there is and there are, are words that we use or expressions that we use to let someone else know that something exists or that is located in a certain location, as it says. So we have some examples here, general examples. Of course, we are going to go through each one of them so you can have a better understanding about the situation. So there is a cell phone on the table. When we say there is, we make reference to, or the meaning of there is and there are is, hay. Eso es lo que decimos cuando utilizamos there is and there are. Of course, there is is going to be for singular and there are for plurals. So if I say there is a cell phone on the table, we're saying hay un teléfono en la mesa. Uh, hay de haber, no hay de, ah, me duele, hay, no, hay de haber, okay? So now uh, there are apples on the table. So this is just gener just general information that we have. Now we're gonna go with the first one, which is there is. Here we have guys some examples because we can have affirmative forms, negative forms, and interrogative forms. So how do we do that? Here we have some examples. So I would like to have some help from Joanna Cristabel. Are you there? Hello. Hello, hello. Me teacher. I always see her connected, but I don't know if she's there. Are you there? Well, she's probably not there. So uh, let me see, Alberto Enrique, are you there? Yes. All right, Alberto, go ahead and help me reading the affirmative form, please. Este, there is a computer on the desk. Okay, thank you very much. There is a computer on the desk. So remember, when we refer to some or to something that is just one thing, specifically just one thing, 
we are going to use there is as a matter of trying to let people know that something exists or that there is something there. So in the negative form, let me see Gabriela Unice. Go ahead and help me, Gabriela, with the negative form. Okay, teacher. There is an old pillow on the bed. There is not a pillow on the bed. So here, guys, in this case, it's very easy because when we make the negative, we already know that the word that we add is the word not. That is going to be right after the verb. Be. So in this case, we're going to say there is not to make it negative. And then, of course, it's going to be a complement. Now, how do we do the interrogative form? Uh, let me see. Wilfredo Mendoza. Oh, you raised your hand. Okay. Okay. Wilfredo, go ahead. Interrogative form. Is there a park there? Is there a park there? Good intonation. Um, that's a good intonation because remember when we make questions, we need to have an intonation. That was class number two. So very easy, guys. When we want to make the interrogative form, we simply change the verb be at the beginning and then we leave everything in the same position. And at the end, we just add a question mark. Simple as that. So now, how do we respond or how do we answer to that question? If I ask any one of you, is there a park there? What would you say? ¿Qué dirían? Yes, it's there. Yes, it's there. Okay. Another opinion? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, that's the way we say it. We say, yes, there is, or no, there is not, or no, there isn't. That's a contracted form. So that's the short answer. What about if in an exam, we ask you, give me the complete answer to that question. Is there a park there? What would you guys say? Yes, there is a park there. Okay, that was very good. Someone else, the negative form? No, there no, isn't there a, is park a park there. Excellent. No, there is not a park there or no, there is not. We can use contractions, but that will be up to you. So, uh, no, there isn't. Mm -hmm. No, there isn't a park there. Yes, that's the right answer, Katya. So uh, okay. as you can see, there is and there are are not complicated. They are very easy to understand, very easy to use. As I said at the beginning, probably some of you already know. So that's why it's not going to be complicated. So we are going to move on to this part, which is there are. We are going to move on a little bit fast because this topic is not that difficult. So we're just going to give you general information or ideas about it. So affirmative form, there are three chairs in the classroom. Of course, because we have more than one thing, we're going to use there are, that's pretty obvious. Negative form, how are we going to do that? Once again, by adding the word not right after the verb be. So there are not oranges in the fridge, okay? Very simple. Now, can we make questions? Yes, we can. So how do we do that? The same thing that we did with there, with there is. We are going to move the verb be at the beginning and then we leave everything in the same position that it was. Of course, the question mark at the end. If I ask you, are there two smartphones? What would you answer to that? Yes, there are. Two smart no no there are two smartphones. No, there are two smartphones. Is that correct? No, there are oh, there, there are no 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 okay thank you there are much. more than two thank you okay yes correct so um what about the short answer what would you say that's pretty 
pretty obvious, very easy. What would you say? Yes, there are. Yes, there are, or no, there aren't, or no, there are not, okay? Either one of them. So any questions so far, guys? So far, so good? Estamos bien? Yes. All right, so let's move on to the next part, because this part is pretty easy. So we just have general ideas here or general information about contractions. There is, the contraction is going to be theirs. So there's a good song on the radio. So you can use that contraction if you want, of course. If you don't want to use contractions, do not use it. But Americans or people who speak English, they love using contractions a lot. So, but it will be up to you the way you want to speak. There are, we don't have contractions in, in this form, but we do have contractions in the negative form. We cannot contract this form. We cannot say there are, because that will sound weird. That will sound really weird. So we just, we simply say there are, but if we want to make it negative, of course we can make contraction between the verb be and the word not, and we can say there aren't. That's the only contraction that we, we can do with there are. So let's move on to the next part. And here we just have some more examples about it. And I will need three people actually, three volunteers. Me, teacher. Uh, Katia, okay, Katia, go ahead. Help me reading the part uh, in green. Okay, read, teacher. Just read it. Okay. There's a computer. There's an exercise bike. There are some DVDs. Okay, now, Elmer, help me with the part in yellow and all with the answers of that. Is there a telescope? Are there any bedrooms? Okay. Tell me with the answers of that, please. This little part in green and this little part in red. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there isn't no there aren't nidia help me with the with the with the part in red there isn't a tv there aren't any bits okay thank you very much uh, now these were just more examples about that so now we're going to have the whole thing that we just said this is like the contraction of pretty much everything that we just said. Contractions, affirmative, negatives, and questions. So this is the contracted information about everything that we just said. So we don't going to, uh, to stop here. So we're going to move on quickly, unless you have any question. Is there any question? If there's not, so I'm going to move on to the next part, which is, some and any. We have, we use some and any with plural nouns and uncountable nouns. Some is generally used in positive sentences. Any is generally used in negative sentence. Please try to keep that in your mind. Some will be mostly used for positives, of course, we are going to see later on that we have two exceptions, but that's what we're going to see later on. Now, just focus on that. Some is going to be for positive and any is going to be for negatives and also for questions. It doesn't say that here, but later on, you're going to find that out. Now, uh, let me see. I will ask for some, some other people. Carlos Regalado. Yes, Carlos Regalado, okay. Help me please reading the first point that we have here. Okay, I have some information for you about two plans. 
flight. Fly to Paris. To Paris, okay. Now we have there that the that the noun information it is uncountable. As you can see here, the the sentence is in positive or affirmative. That's the reason why we are using the word some. Ed Ibin, please go ahead and help me with number two. I don't have any information for you about flight to Paris. Thank you very much. Now, as you can see, the same sentence that we have above, which is this one, the same sentence, we are changing it to negative. And automatically, since we are using the negative form, that word some changes for the word any. Why? Because we said that any is going to be used for negatives. So automatically we change it and we say have any. And the previous one we said have some because it was in, in positive. So those are just examples for you to understand a little bit. So it is Regina, go ahead and help me with number three. We met some friends for drink after work yesterday. Thank you very much. Now we're still using the word some because we're talking about the plural form in this sentence and the word friends is the plural countable noun that we're using there. Now, the same sentence, we are going to change it to the uh, negative form and I will need Vidal's help. So go ahead, Vidal. I did, not, I did not see any fry there on this today. On Thursday, okay. I didn't see any friends on thir there on Thursday. So we're using pretty much the same sentence with the difference that we're making it negative. And what I need you to understand is that we are only changing the word some and any according to what we already know, positive and negative. Joaquin, the next one. I think he will have some time to speak to you today. Thank you very much. And the last one, Maritza Isabel. I don't think he will have any time to speak to you today. I, I, I barely heard what you said. It's like really, I can listen to you, but really, really far away, like, like very, very far. So I don't know. It's it's probably a, an issue with the microphone or something like that. But thank you very much, Maritza. So any question, guys, so far? Okay, no questions at all. I guess. I'm sorry, I've been sick. Okay, it's okay, Maritza. That's understandable. So no questions, so we're going to move on. Teacher, is yes. the uh, song any is next the verb? Next to the verb. Yeah, actually the position that we're going to have is going to be right next to the verb, uh, or we can say that it's going to be between the verb and noun. That's the position that we're going to put it there. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. So let's move on. And here we have some other examples. Some and any usually determines both plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Uh, do you guys know what, what countable nouns are or uncountable nouns are? Do you guys have any idea about it or no? Um, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes. Well, I think countables are yes. the, the things that we can count, that we, that we can put a number, mm -hmm. and uncountables are the opposite, the ones that you cannot count. Yeah, excellent. There you go. Very simple. As it says, countable, things that we can obviously count, and uncountable, things that we cannot count, such as information, you know, intelligence, those are things, or love, things that we cannot count. Of course, there will, there will be some exceptions, but we're going to see that topic later on, so you will have a better understanding about it. 
So um, here, some other examples. I draw some pictures. There isn't any milk in the refrigerator. So pictures, plural countable noun, milk, plural uncountable noun. So those are just examples for you to understand a little bit more. I know that this is really easy. It might not be complicated. Probably for some of you, it will be. For some others, it won't. So, but do you guys have any questions so far? I mean, I'm asking you every single time because I really don't know if you might have any questions. If you don't, that's okay. So we can move on. Well, I guess that's a no, so I'm going to move on. So just let me check. All right. Here we have, as I told you at the beginning, I said, remember guys that any, we use it in negative sentences, but also we use any for questions. How come? Yes, every single time that we make a question, we are going to use any. Of course, there will be some exceptions that we are going to check later on. But for the moment, I just need you to understand that we are going to use it for negatives and questions. So negative, he doesn't need any stamps. Questions, do you have any friends in Chicago? Is there any po pollution in your city? As you can see, we're also using it in the questions. So thing to remember, any for negative and questions. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, any questions so far? Okay, let's move on and let me see. All right, here we have the exceptions I've been talking about this whole time. Pay attention to these exceptions because the last one, it might be a little bit confusing, but if you pay attention, it won't be. So the first one, ¿Qué es lo que usábamos para preguntas? Which one do we use for questions? Any. 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 That's what I said. Yes, that's what I said. But here comes the exception. There will be two questions as specifically in which I am going to use some, even though they are questions. And as I told you before, we use any for questions and negative sentences. But these, in these two exceptions, we are going to use some instead of using any. How come? Every single time that we talk about an offer or a request, we are going to use some. So let, let me give you this example. Would you like some bread? So the action or the question when we, when we ask that question to someone, we are offering. Let's suppose that you are at home and I get to your home and you ask, you know, as a matter of politeliness, you are going to say, would you like some bread or would you like some coffee? So there, we cannot say, would you like any bread or would you like any coffee? We cannot say that. Why? It's those are expressions or things that were already created in the language when the language started. So those are things or expressions that we can never change, okay? But just keep in mind that it's going to be when you're doing an offer, okay? or when you have a request, like the example that we have here. Could I have some water? Could I have some water? I could never say, or I can never say, can I have any water? Why? Because you are requesting that to someone else. So that's why in those two things, or in those two uh, questions, we will have to use some, instead of using any. Not really, no, not really. Because if I, if I ask you, for example, I go to your house or you come to my house, for example, and you tell me, could I have some water? Okay. 
No es ah. una pregunta que te haces a ti mismo. No. Ah, Tú okay. vienes y me pides agua. Okay? Por eso le llamamos request, solicitud. Asking me if I can give you some water. Ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. Now, ¿cuál utilizamos para positives? Some. Some. But here it is the exception. Aquí está la excepción. If I say, si yo digo, I refuse to give him any money. Al ver la oración, ustedes dirían que está en negativo. ¿Hay algo que me esté diciendo que está en negativo? Yes. Any, any, I, no tiene nada de dinero. Mm. No, it's because he's refusing. Um, I mean, the, the sense, that's what... Obviously. El, el sentido es negativo, pero si yo gramaticalmente les pregunto a ustedes, ¿hay algo que me esté diciendo ahí que está en negativo? No. ¿Algún auxiliar en negativo? ¿Lo vemos? No, no, no lo vemos. No, right? No, no, just the sense of the sentence. Uh, what did you say? Just the sense of the sentence. Yes, just the sense of the sentence. But that's what I was saying. Gramaticalmente, yo no veo ningún auxiliar, ninguna palabra not. No hay nada ahí gramaticalmente que me... Este negativo. Negativo. But what happens? ¿Qué sucede? Tengo el verbo refused. 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 What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Do you have any idea? Negarse. Negar. Negarse. Sí, negarse. So, if I say, if I say, I refuse to give him any money. ¿Por qué utilizo allí any si aparentemente o eh, gramaticalmente no hay ningún auxiliar? Automáticamente cuando yo digo refused, me niego yo le estoy dando un sentido negativo a la oración. ¿Sí? So, even though it doesn't look like negative, the sense of the sentence is negative. So, that's the reason why it doesn't look like negative. I will have to use any. Why? Because it will be the same if I say I didn't give him any money. It will be pretty much the same thing. So, do you understand? Yes, right. It's very easy. Yes, teacher. All right. So I hope everyone understood. Espero que todos hayan entendido. If you didn't understand, please ask now. Teacher, one I have a question. What's your question? Is the only exception or can be more uh, words negative, like refuse? Uh, do you mean if we have any other verbs? Uh -huh. Yes, we do have some other verbs. Tenemos otros verbos. ¿Qué otro verbo? Que son negativos. ¿sí? ¿Qué otro verbo pensarían ustedes que me da un sentido negativo? Never. Mm, is never a verb? Si decimos never, es un verbo. No, 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 perdón. Otra cosa. Uh -huh. Rechazo. If I say, how do we say reject? What's the verb? Reject. Reject. So if I say, si yo digo, I reject, rechazo to, you know, to pay any bill, something like that. So those verbs, todos esos verbos que me dan un sentido negativo automáticamente cuando yo los digo, Todos esos verbos van a utilizarse con esta exception. So that's what we have to know. All of them that give me that sense, negative sense, sentido negativo. Okay? Teacher, for example, I reject any invitation. For I reject any invitation, exactly. Because we are using the verb reject, which automatically gives me the negative sense to that. Okay, that, that was a very good example. Thank you very much. So, do you guys understand the other ones? Are we clear? Si estamos claros? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I understand. I got okay. It. All right. So, I hope so. All right. So, let's move on. And 
That's it. We have exercises, okay? There's no question, no hay preguntas. We can move on to the exercises. That's what I was telling you. Okay, so you let me know so I can. Can I move on? All right, so I'm going to move on. Number two. All right, so I'm going to move on, and this is going to be a conversation, okay? <coughs> part, guys, and this part no es necesariamente que lo hagamos en pareja. ¿Cómo lo podemos hacer? Una persona lee la A, otra persona la ve, luego otra persona vuelve a leer la A, luego la ve, luego la A. Que todos participemos en una sola vez. Ok. Porque se están llevando demasiado en practicarlo en pareja. Toman demasiado tiempo. So it's better if one person reads letter A, then another person letter B, another person letter A. Even though it's not going to be the same information, just read, 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 read. So you can all participate in one time. So you don't take that much time and you can move to the exercises, okay? Are we clear? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Now, let's see. Please, guys, as I always tell you, try to speak in English. Some of you still. I know, I know I understand us. I mean, I completely understand that you feel tempted. Why? Because you probably, you don't have the vocabulary. Probablemente no tienen el vocabulario para expresar lo que quieren decir. But yes. try, al menos tratar, ¿sí? Try, okay? So I will be checking all of you there. Please go ahead and join your rooms. <clears throat> Okay, let me see if I got it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can ¿Quién sería A y quién sería B? I'm having problem with my computer. What? Grow what it? Otra persona, así como digo el teacher dijo. For some reason, it won't turn on. Ok. Ok. 
¿Qué os falta que participe? Yo. Ok. Edith. La otra sí sería. La otra sería. Sí, habla de un dormitorio. There is. There is. There is. But there isn't. Sería ahí, ¿verdad? There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. There are. There are three from. Sería there sí. are la otra? Sí, there are. Guys, I can listen to your Spanish. Please, <laughs> English. In many countries in the world. There are. There are yeah. all bottles. There are just uh, because it's, it's plural. Yes. Bottles. Okay. And paper oh. everywhere. It is a big problem. But Alfredo Santa Cruz. Paper. From Puerto Iguazú, Argentina, has got the solution. It's a house of bottles. There are. There are. There are. There are. Thousands of bottles in his house. There is. There is. There are many. Many. There are many, many new things in Alfredo's house. Everything. In is is good for the environment. Next, um, I think the there are there are with any is not comfortable. There are there are any house like this in your country? I uh, know. But but is a, a question. Yes, this is um. Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Just are there any house like this mm -hmm. in your country? There are there. Okay. And the second, this safe fly with an am some and which which are an attorney. There. There. There are. There are all plastic. CD box. CD box instant. In the boxes box. instead. And there are not. There are. In, there. There are in men. No. There. Now is on the street. Hi, hello. Why is everybody so quiet here? I just see Elba talking. What about the others? Dear Okay. Hey. Eh, Elba, Elba, sí. Eh, ¿Dónde eh, estamos con la... Eh, 
alguna, pero... ¿Qué sería? Hey. <coughs> la otra sí sería... Son. Algunas son. 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 La otra sería Ey, también Yo no sé, no tomé bien la captura de la Creo que al grupo la mandaron no la voy a revisar porque no la veo aquí bien. I need. Ah, sí, aquí está. Uh, please, guys, English. <laughs> You're using too much Spanish. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice enviar? Send. Send. <laughs> The screenshot de esa activity. The screenshots are in the WhatsApp group. Can you see it? Mm. Que no la logro ver bien. En WhatsApp. Sí, ahorita la agarré. Have you checked the connected on your computer. What connections? There are calls that connect your computer to a power outlet. Will the calls keep it from turning, turning on? It won't turn on if the calls aren't connected. I didn't think of that. Say in and see if it works. I think that I will, thanks. It should work, but let me to know it doesn't. Okay. Okay. Please. Come, come and next. <laughs> well, guys, let Wait, me tell you that you are, you are you? A, group, very, a very organized group. So I've been thank you, thank you, teacher. Checking and you are very organized. Every one of you is participating. All of you are giving opinions, and I really like that. So keep on doing that, please. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you, teacher. I have a question. Yes. When uh, we have. Uh, um, a word. Mm -hmm. uh, rubbish. 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 The 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 rubbish. Do you mean like the like trash? In this moment, teacher. R u b h i s h. Rubbish. rubbish. Is is good pronunciation? Radish. I, I mean, I don't. I don't. No, it is it's rubbish. Uh, R U B B I S H. Oh, this, oh, that one. Rubbish. That's the same. That's a synonym of trash. Es un sinónimo de basura. So when we say rubbish or trash, that's pretty much the same thing. Es lo mismo. Basura. So plural or singular? No, it's that singular. So you can, uh, le llamamos sinónimo porque la podemos, podemos utilizar cualquiera de esas palabras que van a significar lo mismo. La, yo, en vez de rubbish, podríamos tener ahí trash, que es lo mismo. So it, it doesn't matter. In this case, uh, uh, we can say is, there is uh, a barrel house. In este caso sería there is porque singular or there yeah. are. No, no, no. In, in that case, rubbish on the streets. 
Because the noun that we have, porque el, el sustantivo que tenemos is singular, according to grammar, we will have to use there is. But because it is a question, we don't say there is, we say is there. There. Okay, uh, correct. There. Yes. There. Singular. Okay, so keep on working that uh, on that, guys. Thank you very much. Teacher finish. Okay, great. So just Okay, I see that there's still people in the group, so we're just going to wait for them to come back to the main session, which is going to be in 20 seconds. All right, now, so they are closed, so everyone is coming back. All right, so guys, uh, well, I was checking all the groups. Some of you still want to talk in Spanish. Some of you love speaking in Spanish, okay? I'm not gonna say names, but you already know who I'm talking about, okay? Some others were- Very little dying. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What did you say? Very, very uh, little, tiny. Yes. Okay. Um, some other, some others were really organized, and I really appreciate that. Some groups were participating. Everyone was giving an opinion, and that was that was pretty good. But some others, it's like just one person talks, and the other ones are just like ghosts. The demás están ahí, solo uno participa y los demás están como fantasmas. Nunca dicen nada. They're just there and never participate. So uh, I will be taking, remember that that's taken into consideration, see? ¿sí? Tomamos eso en consideración. So it's up to you. That's why I check all the groups and I check who participate, who doesn't. And I'm every single time I'm trying to check that. So uh, we were going to do this, guys, but... Time is over. So we already have 9.02. So um, please try to keep working on the platform. Tomorrow we are going to have calibration. You know what that means, right? So that uh, administration is going to be checking your progress in the platform. So you will have to complete section three plus the midterm by the moment. If you already complete the platform, that's fine. You can do whatever or as many exercises as you want. That's up to you. So, but if there's no any other question, that's all we have to do for today. And I wish you a really nice weekend and see you guys on. Okay. Solamente, solamente quizás una pregunta, teacher, okay. donde me quedé un poco corto. Eh, hubo yes. una parte que no entendí. En oh, donde yes. dijo que no sé si yo entendí mal que no se podía contratar el de el there are ahí como que no entendí o, eh, o no entendí mal no podemos contratar there are como tal pero sí yo puedo contratar are con not so yo puedo decir are not or aren't pero okay. there are ellos dos esas dos palabras no se pueden thank you teacher iniciación okay. teacher uh, so that's going to be pretty much all for today, guys. See you on Monday. And okay.
Have a good weekend. You too, Thank teacher. you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.